Yeah. Hey, this is Jason Rosell. You're watching Being Fat Sucks. Today, we're going to be doing the Caliente Interval Cardio Circuit. I'm here with Michael. What's up, brother? How you doing, buddy? Doing great. Uh, today, I'm really excited because this is a workout that not only can you do at home if you have a treadmill, you can do it at the gym or at your park nearby your house. So, for today, we're going to jump on the treadmill and let's get this party started. All right, before starting any type of workout, as I usually say, we gotta warm up. Right now, Michael's gonna be doing about two to five minutes of a warm up. You at home, you should be doing the same thing. If you're doing this at the gym, get on it. What's going on right now is heart rate is elevating. We're just getting that blood flowing, getting that body grooving, getting ready for our actual warm up. Yeah. Michael's going. I feel good right now, man. Right, right. Yeah, we done? Two, and here we go. Good workout, man. Great, that's great. Nice. Alright, I'll see you tomorrow. So we're gonna step off of our treadmill. Let's put our hands together. And we're gonna slowly go all the way down and go as far down as we can. Good. See right now, Michael's legs are not fully straight. Let's go exactly. We wanna keep that leg and feel that burn right feel here. Right exactly. Our next stretch, we're gonna slowly come up, let your head be the last thing to come up. We're gonna put our hands on our hips and we're gonna rotate our neck left to right. We go inhale to the left and to the right. And again, and to the right. Letting all that oxygen come in our body. One more time. Good, great. So now our next one, we're gonna grab our leg all the way up high and pull it in as much as we can. Good, right here, it's all about the balance. Comes from the core, see? Which is lopsided. Exactly, no biggie wiggy. Oh, freaking. Yeah. Okay. What the hell? I'm it's, huge. It, it's okay. No, I'm huge, man. This is what you get for being fat. It sucks you can't stand on one leg without help. Just one thing. Switch I can it. Hold. Switch it to the other. Let's relax. Let's breathe. Good. Good. See? Look at that. Already five seconds. Three, two. Let's switch it to the right one more time. Here we go. Me and Michael, you with us at home? See? Mind over matter. See? Gosh. It's okay, we did it. Now guys, Michael, let's go back to the actual treadmill. No. All right. Depending where you are physically, right now Michael is gonna start at a 3.2. Now let me break this down depending on your body type and your goals. If you're looking to lose fat and gain lean muscle without losing the actual muscle that you have, which Michael's in the same point, you wanna start off fairly slow for one minute. Right now, Michael, like I said, is at 3.2 on the treadmill. In about 28 seconds, we're gonna bring him up to a 4.8. Slow one minute, fast one minute. Slow one minute, fast one minute. So for now, Michael's been on it for about 45 seconds. We're gonna bring it up in 15 seconds till he feels a challenge and he starts sweating. Here we go in five seconds, we're gonna move it up. And let's slowly start jogging. See, Michael's in control. What is he doing? He's inhaling. He's exhaling. So remember, we're going in one pace, but we're slowly going faster. So what happens, like I said, we go slow for a minute, because now his muscles are nice and relaxed. Then we go fast. So he's got another 15 seconds here. Then we're going to bring it down to that 3.2. So remember, depending on where you're at physically, you may be able to go to 5.5. Now we're gonna bring it back to the 3.2. How you feeling, Michael? I mean, I felt like I was basically hitting the ceiling right there. It was just right. enough time for me to come back down. So, I felt like I hit a wall. Just as I was hitting the wall, it was time to slow it down. So it kind of worked out. For the next one, we're gonna move it two notches up. Take your notes at home. He's breathing, he's going. Michael is not necessarily a little guy. He knows he's got a lot of weight going, but look at him move. Mind over matter. How you feel, Michael? Talk to us. Okay. Good. I'm definitely winded. My leg is definitely starting to burn. I've been on it for uh, however many minutes, and I'm definitely feeling like I'm starting to max out. That's awesome, you see how he's able to talk to me? If you're doing cardio on your higher level and not able to talk to yourself on the phone or to the person next to you, that means you're going too fast. 
So remember, the next time you do this on your own, Michael, or you're at home, if you can't talk to your wife, to your friend on the phone, you know, okay, wait a minute, I'm going too fast. All right, three, two, one, we're gonna go all the way back to 3.2. All right, we're halfway done. How you guys doing at home? I hope you're hanging in there, taking your notes. Remember, one minute, moderate pace. The next minute, it goes faster. So if you started at your fast level at 4.0, the next minute is gonna be 4.2, 4.4, such and so forth. Here we go. We're moving Michael. We're going, we're going. Let's try to land on our toe. Let's pay attention to Michael's feet. His feet and the way you land when running on a treadmill is very important. Most people make the common mistake, they're landing flat. Boom, boom, boom. You got 10 seconds, Michael. Inhale, exhale. Inhale, exhale. Two. And what do we do? We bring it down. This is the part where the fat people collapse on the treadmill. I let him pick him off. Well, that's it. That's where I feel like right now. But I don't want to be that guy. You're not that guy. No. Here we go. We're going into our last round. Okay. This is all for you guys. Like always, Michael. Tell him. Give him a message at home. Push through. When you feel like you've maxed out, just go that little extra, extra mile, and it'll be that much more endurance you build up for the next time. That's right. Show them at home what you got. This is the hardest level Michael will be doing. One minute straight. He's at a 5.4 at almost 300 pounds. This is mind over matter. You know why he's able to do this, ladies and gentlemen? Because he stretched. He warmed up. His body's feeling good. His mind is feeling great. Mind right, body tight. He's got 40 seconds. Come on, Michael. Good. And three, two, and one. Nice. Yeah. Woo. Yeah. Feeling good? I wouldn't go that far. I mean, yeah, it's gonna, I'm gonna feel good later. Right now, I'm just trying to focus on my breathing. Good. Catch my breath. Good. I think that's where good. sometimes People get so distracted by the feeling of the intense workout, that they forget to breathe, and they end up having to quit early. Absolutely. Let's break it down. We're gonna go straight into our caliente stretch. Get ready. The legs are jello, as always. But, I mean, is that because of hydration or is that oxygen? We get off doing something like intense, and you feel like you had a little light. Right, it's like you're seeing a little bit of a black dots. Little dots. Right? It, it yeah. could be a number of things if you're not active. I mean, this you just started this a few weeks ago. Right. You know, if you're not active all the time, if you're not drinking at least, you know, two to three liters of water a day. I mean, I drink a gallon just to hydrate, if right. you guys, you know? Right. So it's a number of things. Did you have a good breakfast this morning? Did you have a healthy breakfast? What did you have for this? I had oatmeal. You had oatmeal with yeah. what? Banana. And an oatmeal with banana, that was a great source of protein. It's a great source of carbohydrates. Yeah. And you have tons of energy, which helped you here. Yeah, yeah. But right now, you're not, you're just experiencing this because it's new to you. Right, right, it's like right. anything, it's like a sport, it's like a new job. Yeah. You have to get used to it. We're gonna stretch it real quick and raise our arms really up high. Please don't get a belly shot. Fast. And we're gonna hold it. Good. Right now, Michael, you feel that right there? Do it right here, good. You at home, get with it. We're going to the right. Good, hold it. Keep these arms straight. Form is everything. Most people make the common mistake, they'll do that exercise, but they don't know how to perform. All right, let's go up straight and come down. Hold it right here, we're gonna go right to left. We're gonna stretch those shoulders and that back and those arms and that core. All right, cross arms, inhale. Two more times, give it to me. One more time. Exactly. As promised, I'm giving you two awesome lower back stretch tips today. This is really for Michael, but Michael is not a greedy guy. 
be willing to perform everything <laughs> for you guys as well. So our first one, we're gonna lay down. Let's go ahead and slowly lay down. All right, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and lay flat all the way down. Our arms go all the way out. Just relax, right here at this point, Michael's breathing, Michael's relaxing. Now our next step to really get this going is we're gonna bend our knees in, right? And we're gonna grab our left knee and relax our Now the further you bring in your knee to your chest, okay, right? You're gonna feel it. Now, watch this, Michael, lower this leg. You feel that? Oh yeah. Hold it. Right now, all his weight is pressuring on that lower back and it's just letting all those muscles that are tight relax little by little. We're gonna go ahead and switch it. So as you can see, he did about 15 to 20 seconds. Now he's gonna do the reverse side. Our second caliente lower back stretch tip for today, Michael, is we're gonna grab a 20 pound. If you at home, grab any from 10 to 30 depending. For females, I usually say 10. Males, 20 or up to 30 for really strong. We're gonna grab our weight with both of our hands, left to right, and bring it all the way up high. Careful with your lower back. Okay, remember the importance of breathing, Michael. We're gonna lower the weight as low as we can for three seconds, and then we're gonna come up for three seconds. As we go down, we're gonna inhale, and when we come up, we exhale. Three, two, we inhale. Legs straight, and up, exhale. Three, two, we repeat, inhale. And come up, exhale. You feel that in your lower back? And we're gonna do it again. And come up, three, two. We're gonna do this two more times. Oh yeah. You'll notice you're getting more flexible as you go. The lower you can go, the more flexible you're getting. Last one. And three, two, and one. Michael, thank you, my brother. Thank you, man. You're watching Being Fat Sucks. Remember, stretch, eat right, mind right, body tight. We'll see you guys soon. I'm Jason Rosell. Subscribe to Being Fat Sucks. Take care. Woo, woo. Yeah. <laughs>